This is a review of the Nike Wild Horse 8 trail running shoe. The Nike Wild Horse 8 has been completely redesigned for 2023 and it is with a heavy heart and great disappointment that I inform you Nike took everything that was perfect and amazing and beautiful with the Wild Horse 7 and completely ruined it in the Wild Horse 8. This is the Nike Wild Horse 7. They're hideous, the colors are atrocious, but the tread pattern the sole. Everything about this shoe was perfect for trail running. They're tough, they're durable, they're comfortable on any terrain. As you'll see, I have multiple pairs of the Wild Horse 7. I used the Wild Horse 6 for years. Same thing in the mountains, trail running, beautiful shoes. The Wild Horse 7 was a vast improvement over the Wild Horse 6. Even in the Canadian Rockies, running and hiking over shattered limestone, the Wild Horse 7 were comfortable for thousands of kilometers. The Wild Horse 8, however, have a completely redesigned tread pattern, a totally different sole, and the Wild Horse 8 aren't even comfortable in the city, hiking on flat dirt trails, or even wearing around the office at work. I hit the trails with them, I can't even wear these shoes. We can get into the technical specs of the sole and the redesign, but that's boring, and who gives a shit? Because at the end of the day, all we care about, are these shoes comfortable? Are they as good or better than the Wild Horse 7? And the answer is absolutely no. So if you're looking for trail running shoes that are comfortable and you're wondering, are the Wild Horse 8 as good as the Wild Horse 7? The answer is absolutely not. Do not buy them. If you do buy the Wild Horse 8, you will surely experience that they're less comfortable than the Wild Horse 7. I don't know why Nike, why when they have a great thing going, they have to go and change it. Mark my words, you will see their sales will drop and these shoes will be redesigned next year. Almost guarantee it. The Wild Horse 8 is going to be a huge flop. Trail runners will have the same experience and they will all be in the market trying other brands of trail running shoes because the Wild Horse 8 is uncomfortable. So what did they change between the Wild Horse 7 and the Wild Horse 8? Where did they go wrong? The first thing you'll notice is the tread pattern is completely different. They're using a completely different sole. They've made the upper less durable. They've taken away the awesome durable coating. They've skimped out on it. These shoes were super durable. These have seen pile of approaches to climbs and scrambles in the Rockies. Yes, this big gummy rubber thing on the heel was hideous. They've done away with that and now it's just material. And you'll see right here, this is an example, having this is awesome. This got caught on a limestone rock and it took a big chunk out of it, but it saved the shoe. I just need to put a little bit of glue on this, glue that in place, and this shoe is gonna keep going. If this shoe took a piece of rock in this fabric, you'll see the sole is more flexible. These are better for running. The new Wild Horse 8 is way stiffer. If you've experienced the same thing, if you were a Wild Horse 7 fan and you've noticed the Wild Horse 8 is far inferior to the Wild Horse 7. Let me know in the comments. Let's send a message to Nike. Bring back the Wild Horse 7. Why did you change it? Why'd you make it worse? Why did you do this to your customers? Please bring back the Wild Horse 7. If you see the Wild Horse 7 on sale because stores are clearing them out to get rid of them, to make space for the Wild Horse 8, pick up as many pairs of the Wild Horse 7 as you possibly can because the Wild Horse 8 are terrible and we're not gonna get a new model from Nike of trail running shoes for at least another calendar year. And the Wild Horse 8 is garbage. So you stock up on your Wild Horse 7s. Mark my words, the Wild Horse 8 is gonna get revamped next year because people are gonna have the same experience that I'm telling you right now, they're not comfortable. Compared to the Wild Horse 7, totally uncomfortable. The new update, the new changes, no bueno. Take a 20 kilometer hiker run in the Wild Horse 7 Compare it to a 20 kilometer hiker run in the Wild Horse 8 and you'll experience the same thing. You'll be saying, what the hell? Why did they do this? How could you possibly take something as comfortable and beautiful as the Wild Horse 7, totally destroy it with the Wild Horse 8? We deserve answers.